to code dragon in today's video we're going to be doing a new tutorial so if you have watched my other videos you'll know i usually do code.org tutorials but i'm getting really bored of them i'm going to do more though so i just thought i'll do a new tutorial today so today we're going to be doing a tutorial on app inventor so today's tutorial is going to be about how you can add notifications to your app in app inventor as you can see, I have opened a new project called Notifications. I put a label. Actually, I have three components over here. There's one label, and I have two non-visible components. Notifier and a clock. Notifiers, you can, if it's, I think it's pretty self-explainable that it's a main part of how you can get notifications to your app. And the clock is going to be set in the timer. So now let's go to blocks. I'm just going to delete this. Okay. This too. Yeah. So now if you see that I have a different set of blocks for every component. Okay. So now when I go to notifier one, I'm going to be looking for this block. Call notifier, show password dialog, message title and cancelable. This is practically everything you need to get a proper notification. Now you guys can read this text to understand how it works. I'm gonna be holding like it, holding it like that for some time. Just a minute, sorry. You can pause the video over here because I'm gonna move on. So now I'm going to go to text and go up. I'm gonna do this. And this these blocks allow you to communicate with the user but whatever you have written here only that will go to the user only the user will be only the user will only be able to see that the message is gonna be hi okay title is gonna be greetings Put this through okay I'm just gonna add an N and uh, is it gonna be cancelable you guys can think of your own uh, your own thing it's like the notification can be cancelled, so I'm going to be uh, choosing true so that you can cancel my notification. Now, the clock has a timer, right? So now when we go to clock one, we're going to say when climber do. Um, clock timer. I just mixed it up a bit, so I'm sorry about that. So when clock timer do, then this is going to happen. They're going to call the notifier one, and this it's going to say all of this. But yeah. I think that's pretty much it. If you want to like have a button that can stop the countdown, then you get a button like this and you go to blocks. It'll be at, over there is button one. When button one is clicked, you go to clock and you go down to these green blocks. You choose set clock one time enable two. It's not going in because it needs to have a value. So I'm going to get the value right now. False. So this is going to stop the timer. And if the timer is not working, this is not going to happen. Then you can set to a new screen if you want. You can always add a new screen. I'm just not going to add a new screen for now. <clears throat> okay. You can always add a new screen. And then, see, you can go over here, I think. Oh, it's in control. I'm sorry. You can look, open another screen. And you can use this block again, like this. You can go to text and <clears throat> sorry, I don't know, I have a sore throat. And um, you can use this block again and see which screen you want. But I'm going to be removing this right now because I really don't want to, you know, set another screen. Yeah. Now, I'm sorry, guys, but I'm not going to be able to show you the uh, work in action. Because there are very different ways of running this and that's not going to be that easy. So I hope you guys can try it. There's just one thing I want to show you. This is where you can set the timer. You just click on clock one and a proper timer for like 10 minutes is going to be 600,000 milliseconds. Let's see. One zero less. Yeah, that's going to be. And if it's 15 minutes, 900,000 milliseconds. And yeah, this is in milliseconds. Please remember that or you can really mess up your timer. Okay. Now I'm going to explain to you three ways you can run this. 
you go to connect and you can see three ways over here you go to ai companion so now there's this app called ai companion or app companion 2 just search it on google play store or apple play store i don't know any of these and you can find it okay now over there when you open the app it, there's going to be two options scan qr code or write six uh, six digit code you can scan the qr code over here or you can write this code and then the next way is by get yeah, downloading the emulator on your computer which i have not done yet but i'll do it soon and then in my next video i'll be able to show you what uh, i'll be able to show you the app running okay and third one is a usb you can connect a usb wire from your computer to your phone and then it'll be running on your phone but the problem is guys i don't know how i'm going to show you my phone screen so if any of you guys know it please write it in the comments and i will try doing what you will say okay please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this please hit the like button and thank you for watching my video i hope you have a great day bye